Prime Minister Albanese marks a start of his campaign for indigenous recognition. On the 23rd of August, South Australian witnessed a momentous occasion with the arrival of Prime Minister Albanese, who came to support the Yes campaign for indigenous recognition. The event was marked by a special ceremony. The ceremony also had a significant announcement related to the upcoming referendum day for the Yes campaign. Prime Minister Albanese's arrival in South Australia was meet the enthusiasm and excitement. He was received by local officials and leaders who extended a warm welcome, emphasizing the importance of his visit in advocating for indigenous rights and recognition. The heart of the event was the ceremonial gathering where Prime Minister Albanese spoke patiently about the need for indigenous recognition and reconciliation. My fellow Australians, for many years Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people have advocated for constitutional recognition for us. Our government, along with every single state and federal government, has committed to it. Legal experts have endorsed it. People on all sides of the parliament have backed it. Faith groups and sporting codes and local councils and businesses and unions have embraced it. An army of volunteers from every part of this great nation are throwing all of their energy. The ceremony took place in a symbolic location reflecting the significance of the occasion. Indigenous elders and representatives were prominently featured, underlining the importance of their voices in the campaign. As an Aboriginal elder or community of our community, he has committed his life to First Nations excellence. He is a cultural ambassador who connects people through teachings and sharing of his culture. So please make him feel welcome again. Thank you, darling. Yeah, I played football with your father.
without structural change and recognition. That is what this referendum is about. This referendum is about positive empowerment, recognition through a voice. Six years ago, when our men and women in the regional dialogues were asked, what is meaningful recognition to you? What was their answer? They chose recognition as having a more active role in the democratic life of the Australian state. They chose recognition through a voice. And our First Nations men and women in the dialogues who live in communities, they choose to stay on country and devote their lives to the service of their people, of their culture, of their communities. They should not have to move to Canberra to have a say in the laws and policies made about their lives. We are here. October 14. We are now under seven weeks away from our historic ballot where the nation will finally recognise the First Nations people of Australia in the Constitution. During his address, Prime Minister Albanese made a significant announcement. He declared the 14th of October as the official day of the referendum, making the announcement of the Yes campaign. Today I announce that referendum day will be the 14th of October. This announcement was met with applause and sense of determination for the crowd, signifying the importance of the upcoming vote. The event saw a remarkable turnout of people from various backgrounds and communities, Indigenous Australians, Torres Strait Islanders and non-Indigenous Australians came together to hear the Prime Minister's words and to show their support for Indigenous recognition. The atmosphere was one of the unity and solidarity. And I ask all Australians to vote yes. Prime Minister's message. In his speech, Prime Minister Albanese emphasized the importance of acknowledging the historical injustice faced by indigenous communities and the need for a united effort towards reconciliation. Every Australian will have a once in a generation chance to bring our country together and to change it for the better. He highlighted the significance of the Yes campaign and encouraged all Australians actively in the process. This is a once in a generation chance, and Australians from across the generations are working together to make it happen. I say to all those volunteers, keep knocking on doors, keep <coughs> making calls, keep having those conversations with your colleagues and workplaces across the land. Because this change is supported by employers and unions alike. With your teammates in every local club. Because this is a core fact by every single sporting code. With your fellow worshippers in every faith. Because all faiths have given their support to this proposal. With multicultural communities. Because they know what it means to celebrate and recognise tradition and culture. Have those conversations with your family and friends, your parents and grandparents, because with your energy and enthusiasm, this referendum can be won. And when yes wins, all Australians will win. So in a spirit of generosity and optimism, vote yes! <laughs> visit of Prime Minister Albanese to South Australia on the 23rd of August was a momentous occasion that CAKE started the Yes campaign for Indigenous recognition. The ceremony held on this day served as a powerful symbol of unity and hope. With the official referendum date declared, 
the journey towards reconciliation and recognition took a significant step forward with the promise of a better future for all Australians. Thank you for watching.